Sure, this time while Al was in the gym. The Holy Spirit for whoever can receive this. <laughs> the Holy Spirit was showing me that right now. Number one, you know about the glory movement of God in the last days? We are in a time in the time, the last days, but you know we're in a time right now. I'm not saying that you know Jesus is coming, the rapture is going to heaven tomorrow, but we are in a time right now. The spirit spoke this to me, this is spoken to me right now when I was in the gym, that it is the time to receive miracles. For those of you who need miracle, a miracle, it's not for anyone. This is for those who have, the, number one, you know, uh, those who have been transferred from darkness to light who are born again and uh, <clears throat> those who have the faith so he he was ministering to me that I was seeing it I saw it that now is the time to grab your miracle. How do you do that? It is all spiritually based. It's all in the spirit. So whoever has the faith to receive this You know, you you just take it. <laughs> um, let me see how to explain this. As it was shown to me, uh, it will only happen for those who are spiritually there and who have a faith. Uh, it's something that you have to uh, be focused in on spiritually in your life and it is a challenge because hear me out People of God. <laughs> I'm trying to get the words out. That's how I saw it. It's something you have to be focused on. In the spirit. If that makes sense. And this will be a challenge. Because things come up in our daily life that cause us to have to go there mentally and we might lose focus on that miracle that we are trying to grab and bring down to the natural from the spiritual. Do I make sense? <laughs> Do you get it? Do you understand? You know, um, and uh, this is biblical because Jesus said that we will be able to do even greater things than he did. What did he do? He did miracle signs, wonders, healings. He did healings and miracles. 
deliverance, miracles, left and right, a healing miracles. The miracles, the, even the miracle of uh, the five, was it five fish of a loaf? <laughs> uh, you know, that was another miracle, sign, wonder, whatever you want to call it. I see miracle. Wonder, too. But in Joel, chapter 2, verse 28 through 30, it talks about the last days. How God will pour out His Spirit. How did Jesus do these miracles? He didn't do the miracles or start his ministry until he received the Holy Spirit when he got baptized by John. And he said we'll be able to do things greater. So it is possible. But there has to be that anointing of the Holy Spirit to that particular individual and I believe it is a, a revelation that someone will get with the power and anointing to be able to pull the miracle down from the spirit into the natural. So many of you might be saying, okay, so since you're saying this, let's see you do it. <laughs> this is something I'm going to focus in on and uh, seek the Holy Spirit about because it's all revelation from the Holy Spirit. It is being in the Holy Spirit in uh, that spiritual, it's all about spiritual dimension and level. You know, to any, I might, you know, to a lot of religious Christians, believers, I'm sorry, I have to go there. They will say, oh man, she's a false prophet. <laughs> she's, you know, talking all kinds of nonsense about dimensions and levels. It is true. Look it up on your iPhone. Ha! What does the Bible say about spiritual dimensions? It's all over the Bible. How, you know, uh, like, you know, the, some of the prophets and some of the disciples were taken off to heaven. That's another level in our, they're in their body. And they were taken somewhere else in the spirit. That is a dimension. Spiritual. You have to be spiritually tuned in, and fasting is one of the avenues to get you there, big time. You can't do it. It's not something we do in our own strength, though. The Bible talks about in the last days that there will be some who will be doing miracles, signs, wonders, but it's not going to be, they're not going to be a Christ, Christ. They're going to have the spirit of the Antichrist. It's going to be a different, you know, spirit, spirit of the devil. So, but what I'm talking about, I told you, you know, it has to be revelation of the Holy Spirit. But the Spirit was telling me that the miracles are there and available. So this is a message to every believer who will see this. At when, whenever they see it. 
So that was the one thing spoken to me, spoken to me, spoken to me while I was at the gym.